So it's another great viewer question from Jayla, and this is, let me get it right now, I'm gonna read it uh, how I wrote it down. It's not exactly how it was asked though. Um, does the royal family feel like they've messed up with Meghan and Harry? So I hope you like the video. If you do, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, I wonder how they feel. Has the royal family, do they feel like they've messed up with Meghan and Harry? That's what I know. So this will be a four-part series. This is part one of four parts. And the first one, Charles, right off the bat. Does he feel like he's messed up with Meghan and Harry? So why not ask the question? I mean, each of those people take it differently. We're going to talk about Charles. We're going to talk about, in order, William, Anne, and then Queen Elizabeth. And uh, Charles has a take on it. Um, William has his idea about it because he's close to, to Harry more than anyone. Uh, Anne, as a, a bystander who's been through all this so many times with all the other royals, she has an idea. And the Queen, I think, has figured it out. And uh, so let's feel like, see if they feel like they have uh, messed up. So these are Los Scarabio cards. This is the Visa Versa Tarot. And uh, I'm going to tell you, the, the folks who have this idea have some difficult names, but I'm going to try to get through it. So Massimiliano, Filadoro, Lunea, Weatherstone, and the artwork by David Corsi. So nice, nice, nice cards. They've got that cool kind of magnetic clasp that's really neat to get. The box, if you gave it as a gift or if you received it, you think, wow, this was a very thoughtful gift. They've got all these nice little pulls that you can unpack everything easily with. And the uh, guidebook is a color guidebook, easy to read, um, and lots of thought and intention into these uh, suggestions for the divinations that you can use. Um, the cards, again, have this nice little pull that you can get them out of the box with. But what I really love about these cards, well, it intimidated me for a long time, actually, is that there's no front and there's no back. There's so this side, which is indicated by the little embellishment on the right-hand side of the, of the card. And then there's a that side, which is in, indicated by a little embellishment, embellishment on the left side of the card. So you kind of get the idea that this is um, um, the, and there's no right and there's no wrong, there's no good and there's no bad. It's just that um, a different um, view on how to divine this card when it comes up. So the problem with them is that when you're shuffling them, you know, you know, once you've dealt your cards, you know what's going to be on the other side because, you know, it's there. So, you know, you're going to know that this is a uh, King of Cups uh, right away. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, if you can divert that from your mind, the cards are beautiful. And uh, so you see that the artwork goes right to the edge. Um, they give you nice hints. Uh, on the cards as to how they, uh, what they are, because so, sometimes that can be an issue when you're trying to figure out uh, how to use these cards. And it doesn't matter which way you put them out, because there's a this and a that side, and uh, you've got uh, work, things to work with. So it's almost like you're getting two decks of cards in one. And uh, it used to intimidate me, but now I love using these cards. And uh, they're glossy, they're easy to use, they slide off of each other, but not too in a bad way. And um, I like to spread them out like this so that uh, or if I have a reading for someone, let them spread them out so that people kind of get their energy into the cards. And so this is the this and that, uh, vice versa tarot. And uh, I love them. Here we go. So we're going to see uh, what is in the minds of these royals. You know, Charles is who we're going to talk about today. And they're all so concerned. He's certainly concerned about his legacy. Is he going to lose everything before he's able to turn it over to William? Um, his mother has done such an incredible job. Uh, is he going to be able to keep it together? And we've got the six. This is the lovers. Isn't it? Six. Yeah, the lovers. And uh, so, I don't know. We'll see. See what he thinks. I don't think that one had particular interest in this read. So, Charles. Charles, have you screwed it all up, buddy? I mean, you're the next one in line. You're the top dog, really. And uh, if you've messed it up, uh, how can it be uh, fixed? Um, so, Charles, are you 
just wondering, have I really royally messed this up? You've got two brothers that you're responsible for. Your own brother, Andrew, who's such a mess, and, uh, and now William's brother, Harry, who probably you think is a big mess. So, Charles, Charles, do you feel like you've messed up with Megan and Harry? Have you screwed things up? Do you, do you feel like you've screwed things up? How do you feel, Charles? Do you feel like you screwed things up with Megan and Harry? So we're going to take six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking that maybe six cards is too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. But um, we'll go through with it. Okay, so Charles, do you think you've messed up? So, you know, these cards, I'm going to flip them over. We're going to be revealing the other side, not that side, because it's too obvious what that side is. So for the signifier of that, if Charles feels like he's messed up, well, no. He's got partnerships here. He's got uh, uh, working together. And, you know, is there something going on behind the scenes that we don't hear about? Because, really, all we're hearing about is what is, uh, is leaked out uh, to the rags, really. So partnerships. Um, this says to me, that as a signifier, that he feels like he's got this worked out. The, uh, and, 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 and in a compassionate way, because this is cups, the two of cups. The challenge to that, then, is uh, the king of swords. Well, yeah, and this king has got his back turned on, on us, okay? So the king of swords is, uh, is uh, making things happen, and, uh, but he's sort of, uh, the challenge to, to this is having to turn his back on it somewhat because of his impending role as king. You know, look, notice how the queen always has a very cool uh, exterior that doesn't reveal really what's going on underneath the surface. And so that's what the challenge is. This is an emotional issue. This is a, a compassionate issue that hopefully he's dealing with uh, personally. And uh, the challenge is that it has to, he has to ha have this cool appearance. Uh, the base of this reading then is the hanged man. Sure, because it's just keeps this just keeps it in suspense. And, uh, and that is, as a matter of fact, um, what he probably realized is the best realizes is the best thing to do is to keep everything just hanging there without an obvious resolution being made. Uh, the past of this reading is the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles, and this fella, I mean, he's dressed up like a royal. Uh, the Five of Pentacles is is typically being out in the cold. Let me show you the other side. So this is typically what you see: somebody outside the the church uh, suffering, but this fella is actually inside. He's uh, the calls coming from in the house in this one. So he's inside, and he still is looking for solace in this issue, and that's where he's been. He's on the inside looking for help on how to get this result. And the sky of this reading then is going to be the Seven of Cups, which is a uh, uh, illusion and delusion, having lots of things to choose from. They're all emotional issues. And uh, and as uh, the, the person that has to make that choice, you know, you just get to choose your best choice first. So that's what's in the sky of this, hoping that you're making the best uh, choice uh, right off the bat. Okay. And then the likely outcome of this for Charles as to whether he thinks he's messed this thing up, let's have a definitive answer. Well, this is the fool, and this is stepping off into the future. Uh, I feel like this is perfect for that uh, right here, where you know he's had to plan for when he's going to be the, the big dog, and that will be a whole new journey. So let's clarify that just a little bit more with three cards. Okay, so with three cards as to whether. Um, he feels like he's messed up because he's stepping off on this new journey. And he does have to consider everything uh, in that light, in the light of the uh, trip that he's going to be taking. So really specifically, Charles, do you feel like you've handled this well or poorly? Charles, do you feel like you've handled this well or do you think it's like you've handled this poorly? Three cards only, and I may stop at any time with those three. So we've got one, we've got two. And we've got three. Okay, so let's get to that. And uh, the first card for that is going to be uh, lovers. Okay, these are the lovers. They're holding hands. They're uh, before we want to see. We've got fire, and we've got uh, which is action, and we've got uh, fertile, uh, which is value. So, do you think you've messed it up? This tells me for Charles, no. He doesn't think he's messed it up. He thinks he's chosen 
the uh, at least behind the scenes that we don't see the lovingly ready to go. And the past of this reading is um, the Nine of Cups. Now that's very interesting because the Nine of Cups is uh, typically uh, refers to the um, the greedy merchant. So someone who has collected all of their trophies. Look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cups right there. And he's got them out for display, but there, it's a little uh, fooling you because it looks like this is just part of this. It's just part of the works here. So he's displaying his his passions, his emotions, but in a way that you really have to look hard to see it. So I think that's how he feels like he's, he's and he's looking out to the public. So this is personally, this is how he's uh, hopes to portray this to the public. You know, he is a man of authority. He's gilded, uh, but this compassion is there for you to see if you look for it. And then the last card for that then is going to be the Ten of Swords getting stabbed in the back. And I think that's how he feels. That's probably how he feels because that's what we're referring to here. Do do you feel as if you've uh, you know handled this? well that you haven't left them out in the cold that you haven't messed up with megan and harry so yeah he's uh, it's, uh, it's a new journey it's it's actually a new responsibility for him he hasn't had to face this sort of a judgment by the way uh with his own sons and then uh so he feels like he's, he's made a partnership lovingly uh that we don't probably know about he's has to dis he's displayed himself in a public way he thinks that has shown that who he is but that his passion is right here for you to find if you look for it. But still, uh, the whole thing has left him feeling, you know, just really stabbed in the back. And this is even uh, a young man here looking at what he's done. I wonder if this is how he thinks uh, Harry uh, has, has done to him. So, yep, I think that's it. So that was interesting. So the answer to that the diet at Cross was the new journey that Charles is having to take off on. He's never had to deal with a situation this close to home and this public uh, all at the same time, um, really, with his own son and the brother of the future king that he knows is going to be in place not long from, from now because he's not going to be there for that long. 20 years is not a long time, if he makes 20 years. We said personally, Charles, how do you feel? It looks like he thinks with this lover's card, that he has struck a balance personally uh, with what's going on over there. And then with this uh, Nine of Cups, uh, it looks like he's feeling like, you know, those cups are just his emotions, his passions, passions are just enough revealed that if you look for them as the public, you should be able to see them. But he maybe have misjudged that altogether. But deep down inside, the problem is, is that he feels like he's been stabbed in the back. And that's hard to get past. But a monarch has to, don't they? So let's see what happens tomorrow, because tomorrow we'll be talking about who? William, number two of the four series. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.